everyone. This is my daughter, Ryan. I don't know if I've shown her on camera yet, but we are going out to the greenhouse. I need to pick some fresh rosemary for the pork chop recipe we're going to be cooking in a little bit. And I have her with me right now. She's going to help me, and she's going to learn all about cooking pork chops. Here's our beautiful rosemary plant. It's doing great. Just gonna pick a couple sprigs off of that. We don't need that much. If you've ever had rosemary, you know that it's very strong. So I'm actually just gonna pick one right here. I'm doing this with one hand, so losing my balance a little bit. There we go. So as you saw in the intro, we are cooking pork chops today. I picked up from H-E-B a few days ago a couple of nice thick cutlets. They're bone in and they're a little over an inch thick, so they're gonna be great for this recipe. I'm going to also um, top it with some feta cheese. I love feta cheese. I use it mainly in salads, but this is um, a really good mixture. If you like pork and if you like feta cheese as much as I do, then I definitely recommend you try this recipe. So please keep watching if you want to know how I make my pork chop with feta cheese. There's not that many ingredients that go into this recipe, which keeps it really nice and simple. But of course you're going to need your fresh pork, you're going to need some feta cheese, I'm using fresh garlic, and you saw me pick the rosemary just a little bit earlier. And I have some lemon for the lemon juice, and then my uh, seasonings, I'm using salt, pepper, dried basil, I'm using a little bit of a table blend, seasoned salt and you're going to need some olive oil. Our first step is to mix all of the dry ingredients and the spices together. So we're going to mix the garlic, rosemary, salt and pepper, the seasoned salt, and the basil in a bowl. This is going to be like a dry rub. We're going to rub it on the pork after we dip it in the lemon juice. I'm going to use two Hi, baby. About a teaspoon of the fresh rosemary. So we have the garlic and the rosemary. Now I'm going to add everything else. I'm going to do about a teaspoon of my dried basil. Just kind of eyeball it. And I'll put the measurements and all that in the description box below. So about that much of dried basil. And then about a half teaspoon of my seasoned salt. And then we're going to finish it with the salt and pepper. You're just gonna mix that in real well like that. It smells so good. Okay, so all the dry slash fresh ingredients are mixed together. Like I said, this is gonna be the rub that we're gonna put on the pork before we cook it, of course. So now I am going to juice my lemon. Um, I may use one or two depending on how much juice I get from it. And then this is what we're gonna dip um, both sides of the pork chop in. So I have my lemon squeeze. If you don't have this, just use your hands, of course, that works just as well. Um, I just like to use this because it helps catch the seeds. And then I'm going to um, dip the pork chop in it. So I'll show you exactly what I do. Also at this time, I'm gonna heat up my cast iron skillet on about medium heat and I'm gonna add a, a few tablespoons of my olive oil.
take the one so far, one of the cuts, because my husband isn't home yet to eat, and I want to make sure his is nice and fresh and hot when he gets home. So I'm just going to use one right now. I'm going to wrap the other one up, and then I will remarinate it, or I will marinate it once he gets home. My pan's ready to go and so is my pork chop. It is sat for a few minutes, just kind of soaking up all the flavors. Uh, the oil is hot enough in the pan, so we're gonna carefully put the pork chop in the pan and we're gonna let it sit for about five to six minutes per side. So the pork chop is just about finished. I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna move it away from the hot surface. And at this point, I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of feta cheese to the top of it. And then I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna let it melt for just a few moments so the cheese melts really nicely on top of the pork chop. Then I'm gonna remove the pork chop and put it on my plate. At that point, I'm gonna add my um, a little bit of white wine. I didn't mention it before, but I'm gonna add a little bit of white wine to the pan to help uh, scrape off all the drippings. And then we're gonna pour that on top right before we eat it. So keep watching. So now everything is finished as you can see, it's time to eat. I really hope you enjoyed this dish. Let me know if you make it and how it turned out. I'd love to hear from you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.